that we intentionally decide to use a practice, a method uh, to center our intention and to center our focus. And that, that practice and method can be focusing on the, on the breath, you know, using, um, you know, kind of what have become standard mindfulness practices in a lot of folks' minds in terms of, you know, breath practices or, you know, physical practices where we do grounding exercises. And it can be just about anything else as well. You know, because the, the wonderful thing about uh, the essence of mindfulness practice is that anything can be your practice. Mm. If you do it with the intention to center yourself and you do it with the intention to manifest your wisest, most grounded self. So it can be mm. washing the dishes, right? But that can be the thing that brings you into awareness of interdependence, right? That all the, all the, all the, all the, all the efforts that had to go into you having the capacity to have water um, mm. to, to, to have, and to have dishes and to have food mm. that you are washing from the dishes. So, you know, washing the dis dishes can be a, a profound reflection on interdependence and on gratitude, you know, so any um, practice that's done with the intention to surface wisdom and focus um, can be a contemplative practice. So I, that's, that's the very broad definition of contemplative practices that I, I work. I love that because it's almost like sometimes I think of as contemplative practices are um, uh, sort of pulling back um, into sol solace or, or into a safe space, which I think it can be as well. But when you were describing the dishes, I was like, oh, what a whole, what a different life, what a different experience to swim in as you do one thing and then the next, if it, could just stay, if it can stay with you, you know, and supporting you through all those moments versus just like stressful, stressful, get work done, be in your day. Oh, like finally I get to go meditate. <laughs> it's like, oh, that feels so much more sustaining in a sense. Absolutely. Yeah, I just led a workshop for uh, clinicians and clinical educators on, um, well, a portion of it was focused on um, contemplative practices around email you know, <laughs> the ways that you can be with this electronic correspondence in a mindful way. It's really like, I mean, you know, it's really necessary because it's one of the places where we feel most, um, you know, inundated and yeah. you know, barraged and, and just, it's, yeah. So I, I think that the more um, one of one of the principal things I try to offer people is the invitation and some practical steps towards integrating uh, mm. mindfulness, contemplative practice, uh, to not even integrating, just allowing it to arise in whatever mm. task we're uh, engaged in, and you know some steps to help help it arise to guide us towards allowing it to arise in whatever we're engaged in.